what's going on everybody so i want to start this video off by giving you all some new promo codes as i said i was going to try to keep up on these ones so i can give them to you all since they actually matter for the easter event uh normally they are pretty bad <laughs> uh but maybe we get some good ones here so the first one is gonna be happy three easter 31 and it looks like oh we got some astro recruitment cards and some limited cards and then it looks like we also have this one which was um put out just a little bit ago um for those of you that maybe didn't get it it's, it's gonna be axw 8l blah 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 and that's gonna be fire chaos soul crystal nucleus so no tokens or anything for the easter event specifically but you know just some free stuff i guess so pretty cool there now the thing i want to talk about today and it is in the title of the video is it kind of feels like we're on a little bit of maintenance mode i don't know if anyone else feels the same way or maybe you know the people who were kind of just a little bit more interested in the game had already left or whatever it is but as i you know dove back into the game again and i've been playing it every single day you know getting through all my dailies and, and all that type of stuff it feels like the updates that they're putting out and more importantly the events that they're putting out don't feel creative they don't really feel like they're trying to push the limits and they don't feel like they're trying to give us something really exciting right and i think the easter event is the perfect example of this so when we pulled up with the easter event I had basically told you all, hey, we are probably going to get something similar to last year, but we'll see what they do to kind of change things up. So what they did is give us this screen with one third of the total amount of content that the previous Easter event actually had, uh, which is, well, for one, just a little bit sad, but two, the Easter egg painting event is, well, actually exactly the same like it is the exact same event um which is fine you know that's there's nothing necessarily wrong about that but there wasn't anything on top of that there was like nothing in addition instead they're recycling their kind of standard events nowadays these these um i don't even know what you want to call them what are these technically called the 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 wand collecting i don't know the, the romance the, the ones with the event missions where you go through and you have to do your dailies or whatever which is what you're doing anyways or you have to spend money spend your cards and such and you get the wand you put them in you get rewards right these aren't bad by any means and i think that this is a big difference this is not something that i'm here to to dump on and, and say like yeah we should remove these like why are we even having these in the game but it feels like they're in their groove they have their system and this is what they're going to be doing for the future now i want to say a couple of good things about this in particular right I, I i do really appreciate the fact that they are at least trying um which i i, I didn't see here where where was it it was there was a reward which i i uh, i saw earlier um Oh, it's right here. There we go. Um, where you, you could choose Artemis, right? So that's fantastic. Love to see the fact that you could pick up Artemis shards. And for me, I'm actually going to drop Artemis in there, um, as well as probably put some Chaos Soul Crystal Nucleus, just because I would like to pick up some more of those. Um, whoops. Let me just pick up Artemis. And I think everyone should probably be doing this. If you're interested in playing the game, you know, long term, you know, make sure you get your Artemis. And I'm going to put Caraxia shards. Eh, maybe I'll do the Caraxia Soul Crystal Nucleus actually um, in there. But these are really nice to see really nice to see the fact that they are at least trying to put more sp characters not just caraxia um, in the events and assuming they're going to follow up with their previous statement they're going to expand upon this right they're going to give us more events more options to give us more sp characters right all of which is good and the rewards are reasonable you probably won't get past floor three is what i've noticed at least um floor three is about you know on average assuming you're not like going through and doing every event missions but if you're doing your dailies you know you do a little bit of limited recruitment summons you spend some diamonds right maybe you do one character to exclusive 30 you know that's gonna be pretty reasonable but oftentimes people don't have the crystal nucleus dust to invest in they don't have 600 mythic runes they don't have the ability to do 800 limited recruitment summons every time like that's just not reasonable right you might be at 180 and that's maximum for the vast majority of players so you're just not going to get there unless you get absurdly lucky which is not going to happen oftentimes with this event 
So yeah, the rewards are fine, but that's that's all they did for the Easter event. That's all they did. They didn't make a new skin, right? Last Easter, they made two new skins and they put them in the event. They created the Easter egg painting. They added things like endless battle or unique mode um, during that time. They had a whole system with, with the Easter event. We didn't get any of that or anything new. Again, it feels like they're on maintenance mode. No new skins, no in interesting new events. Because remember at the time, endless battle and that type of stuff was new. Like that wasn't a thing. Endless battle didn't exist as a weekly or bi-weekly type of event. It was an event that was just relegated towards like Christmas and towards Valentine's Day and like that type of stuff where a new holiday would come and we would get these exciting game modes where you have to min-max it. And they had like the snowman, if you all remember, right? Back in the original ones, these were exciting things that they were innovating upon. And it doesn't really feel like they're really doing anything like that. The most recent innovative thing that we actually got was the exotic expedition, which, well, a lot of people are not nearly as excited about. And in fact, I mean, a lot of people like myself kind of just go through, do the auto, you know, make sure you get your teams in order and then just get your rewards, which is totally fine. But that was the most recent thing that they've added of the last, like, I don't know, eight, nine months that, and then just slowly expanding the stages of all the dungeons is all the focus that the game has had with the addition of SP characters, which, well, we all know is not really our favorite thing. So I would love to start seeing either entire new game modes, new dungeons, new ways to kind of progress, new ways to use our resources, or maybe bring back the whole idea of guild versus guild, which they really didn't add again, right? They, they, they added guild versus guild for like a week and they decided, you know what? We're just going to remove it and we'll add it back later. And they just didn't add it back later. It feels like they really have gotten into a groove of things. People are somewhat okay with the stuff that they have and they've gotten a little complacent and they're just kind of putting us on maintenance mode. So I want to try to push to get us out of this mode, try to see some more exciting events, right? Even the collab event is a perfect example of something that was kind of mediocre right they just repeated the same collab event twice with different characters uh, like it just feels like everything that they, they do are things that they've already done or that they're just repeating over and over again with very little innovation very little um you know improvements or even taking feedback and approving upon if they did the exact same collab event but then took the things that we didn't like like for example hey this event has the pity system that is really, really bad, but now we're gonna make you, give you the option to choose which triple S you wanna summon every 60 and actually give you a triple S every 60 summons with the collab event. I think a lot of people would be a lot more excited, including myself, but they don't even want to improve upon a lot of the different things that they've added and repeated over and over again. So I would love to see this stuff like that. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this Easter events and what you're feeling about it. It's not bad. Not bad by any means. Again, I will not say that the Easter event is bad. It gives us a way to spend our long save diamonds if you're like me. But I would have loved to see something a little bit more exciting. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you all for the next one. <laughs>